Hello, my name is David Bohr and I'm an Apple Professional Development Consultant and in this video we're going to talk about learning about insects on the iPad in the primary classroom. And our starting point is going to be iBooks. So we open up the iBooks app and I've already downloaded a great book from the iBook store called Life on Earth by uh, E.O. Wilson. And when the book starts up, it usually shows a video, but then it takes you to a contents page where I'm going to find about small creatures. There is a video uh, on this page, and we can uh, click on the video and listen to it. There's the question of why did I pick ants? Uh, you know, why not butterflies or whatever? And the answer is that they're so abundant, they're easy to find. And there's lots of other uh, features on the book. For example, there are small videos. This video um, shows you a, an image of a, an ant moving. And then uh, there are other parts, such as this interactive image that goes full screen to shows you all the different parts of an insect body, which is ideal for the primary classroom, in fact. This allows uh, children to touch, uh, click on different parts of the ant, and it gives them the names of the parts. So uh, what we thought was, wouldn't it be great if we could uh, get children to identify these parts themselves? So we're now using an app called uh, Insects HD. And we've found an ant here, and we're going to capture an image from the Insects HD app by pressing the Home key and the Sleep-Wake key. This takes a picture of the ant, of that screen, and if we go to our Photos app, we can find that image and what we can do is edit it to crop it down to size. So I'm going to click on uh, Edit now. And now what I'm going to do is click on Crop, and I'm going to resize the image uh, to the bit that I want. Then click on uh, Crop and Save. So that's now saved to my camera roll. And I next thing I want to do is import it into uh, an app where I can I get my children to identify it and uh, start annotating it. So we're going to use Pages for this. And we're going to create a new document in Pages. And I'm going to choose a blank one for this particular activity. And then when I clicked in the, uh, the, on the page, I can start right entering some text. I can then click on the Images icon and go to my camera roll and choose my image to import it. And here it is. I can resize it. And if I go back to the Images icon again, I can now go to uh, Shapes and maybe choose an arrow. So I just drag a, a line on to begin with. And uh, let me get it in the right place. I now have that object selected. So the next thing I can do is click on the inspector and then uh, go to the style options to give it a, a point and make it a bit bigger. So there's the point coming on now. And let me just increase the size of that arrow. That's much better now. I could change the color and do other things there. So uh, the next thing I might want to do is get a text box on. So what I do is go back to the uh, image icon and uh, grab a T like this. And I have different choices of uh, text boxes I can choose. So let's get that in the right place. And I can start annotating my ant. So this is the eye, obviously. When I finish my annotation, I can go to the spanner, sh go to share and print, and I can then share this to all sorts of different places. And in this case, we're going to go to uh, a web dev and uh, save this to our server. 